This is the Odin Package Manager and a quick demo to show its features. We're going to search for OPM, and in this case, there's the CLI tool. Since the registry is basically empty, I also have the web code here. We'll take that out once we have more packages, but this demos it for us. I click into it. We have a sanitized readme set up, and it will do syntax highlighting for Odin code. We can go into the version history. Each version has its own readme, so you're able to see that through time. It gives you just some basic information, you know, how many kilobytes of Odin extension files, which compiler did it run on, and this is just the compiler at the published time. Which version of the, or what license do you have? And then the commit hash. This will take you to the actual GitHub link. Uh, same with up here. For dependencies, we have two ways of looking at it. The first is license groups. So every license group is, is basically doing a group by operation and lists out each package under each license. And then there's also a flat dependency list. So every dependency recursively through your tree is listed. And this will take you to the listing on the registry and the version that it's done. So this would jump us to the other one. And same thing. Up here is kind of an at a glance of the package details. For the browse packages, it just shows everything, and I believe it's 50 per page or something like that. As far as the publishing goes, we're using GitHub for OAuth for now. You'd come in here, and you're going to set up a token. In this case, you're going to add a token, and notice up here is produced. This value is immediately hashed and never stored, so you're going to have to get it right away, and then it's listed here. So we're going to... I'm going to delete that token because we don't need it. From there, in the CLI, you would use... you would basically set this as an environment variable. In package management, we can delete versions if it's not the only version and if it has no dependencies. As soon as a package has dependencies on other packages, it can no longer be deleted. This one should be able to delete. This one, you can't delete, right? So the OPM package depends on the CLI, therefore I can't just delete the CLI. Now we'll set up in the near future, I'll set up with the ability to archive. Search just uses a TS vector out of Postgres. It is not a fuzzy find. And so if I do like CL, I won't find anything. If I do CLI, I will. So it's basically cutting <laughs> cutting things up based on the subdividers like dashes, underscores, periods, things like that. So do be aware of that. The search searches on the title, the description, and the keywords. As far as the CLI goes, I can bring that over. As far as the CLI goes, the way this works is you have a Simber version right here. You'll have a description just as a string, the URL to your package, the name of your readme file, what license you're using, any keywords you want to add, and then your list of dependencies. An important detail here actually is this has to be valid JSON 5. That wasn't, and so that actually needed wrapped in quotes. I ran into that recently. This tool goes in a, uh, this tool hydrates the other parameters you need and just running through it quickly. So the user data is here. The dependency is just a name value pair, so nothing right there. And then a, a mod, a module file is this guy. So this actually reads the contents of your readme file. This is the actual hash, which it fetches out of your, your Git folder. This gets the compiler. This is just checking how big, how many Odin, how many kilobytes of Odin files do you have in your directory recursively. So omit kernel directory. This is your auth token that you generated on the site. And then this is the user input data. When you publish, it will return back a publish value and Let's go ahead and run this. So I have it already set up on an environment. So we'll say publish. Now this one is a redundant version, so it should reject it. And it does. It says it already exists. So what we'll do is we'll go here and we'll change it to version two. So now I can do OPM publish. And after it publishes, it'll say it did a successful upsert. That's the basics of the project. The alpha release button will take you directly to the issues. So if you find something wrong, 
please file an issue. Let me know. If you have feature requests, let me know also. And thank you for checking it out.